Ralph here, True Power Trumpet Fitness, and welcome to Terrific Thursday and Frigid Thursday. Oh my God, below zero and just absolutely frigid out. I uh, was going to go out and run this morning, took one step outside, and then, nope, I will do that another day. <laughs> and got the kettlebells out instead. Anyway, um, that's that. You saw the thumbnail? I will explain in a minute. And let me uh, play a little bit. I have not played a note yet today, so let's see what we got. And there you have it. Wide open double C's and tonguing. Now, if you are playing the true power way with the tongue forward and the relaxed corners, you do not have to warm up the tongue either. It's there. It's there. Okay, now, if you want to play fast, practice slow. Nothing new there. Oh, God, that's Vacchiano, that's Arbin. There's nothing, nothing new there. Okay, that's just the way to do it. Now, I've said before, I did a, videos after videos of incorporating true power into the music that you play. And that is what you do. That was a little microcosm of how you practice. You take whatever you're playing painfully slow and make every note pop and every note clear, and every note precise, slow, slow, slow. Then, when you go back and do it again, now I just, I just did one the same phrase, I just morphed into the other one, but you go back and do it again, or a day later, or something like that, and boom, it's, it's flying. Why is that? Guys, it is all muscle memory. All muscle memory. Now think about it. If you are playing the Carnival of Venice, if you are flying through an Arban solo, you're not thinking notes, C, B, C, E, G, E. You're not thinking that. That's not what's happening at all. You're looking at the music, and that's a guide. But everything, everything's memorized. You're not thinking notes. You're not thinking your fingerings. You're not thinking that at all. It is absolutely memorized. All you have to do is memorize it correctly, and the speed will come. The speed will come. Okay? So, that is how you practice. You take your Carnival of Venice. That's what you do. And take it slow, spit buzzing as well. I have a handful of kids that are just starting to learn multiple tongue, and they do it agonizingly slow. <laughs> agonizingly slow, and then it just speeds up because you are memorizing. The muscles memorize how they're supposed to go, and they will go faster or slow as you want. Okay? Now, Del Stegers. All those guys, Liberati, all of them, make no mistake about it. That is how they practice, and hours and hours a day. I told you before, this is where the hours come in. The virtuosity is where the hours come in. It's not building chops, it's transferring the chops to the music that you want to play. Now, I might do that, what I just did, nice and slow, five minutes a month. I mean, I don't practice it anymore. Make no mistake about it. The great ones, Doc Schutzer, oh, five hours a day just doing that. That's why they could fly like that. And that's why I, at five minutes a month, yes, I can go fast, but I'm cacking notes that, that you know, you can't do if you're performing. Now, if I had a performance of Carnival of Venice in, in 
couple months, Napoli, something like that. Absolutely, that is how I would practice hour and hour and hour. Slow, slow, slow. Slow, slow, slower. And you don't have to gradually speed it up. You don't have to do that. You just go slow, slow, slow. All of a sudden, boom, it's just fast. Because you've memorized how you want to do it. Now, here's the deal. So important. You have to memorize it correctly. You have to memorize it correctly. You have to make sure going slow that it is right, that the tongue is thick, that it's popping, that each note is precise. If you're practicing it five hours wrong, guys, you're screwed. You're screwed. I know. Guys, I practiced five hours a day wrong for years. And I got some results. All our doc severance, and sometimes you can just will your way to a certain thing. But at the end of the day, all I got is sore lips. Okay? And it wasn't until I got the playing correctly that I got myself out of that whole mindset of hours and hours and hours to create, to um build chops. That's not what you're doing. Hours and hours and hours for virtuosity correctly. It must be correctly. Okay? Think about it. You can practice foul shots if you're a basketball player. You can practice foul shots 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day. But if you're practicing them wrong, they're not going in. Now, out of sheer effort, you might get one to go in every now and then. You might have some success, but unless your form is perfect with the follow through and all that and relaxation and all that, you're not going to be a 95, 100% foul shooter. You're just not going to. If you're throwing it like this, yes, every once in a while, well, you know, one might go in the basket. You might get five out of 10, four out of 10. But until it's correct, that is where the real excellence comes in. You want to play fast practice slow. Not my big idea, but make sure you are doing it correctly. Got it? Got it. Give me a comments down below. Email me if you like and keep in touch and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Eat and drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power.